Hi there, thank you for joining me for this last bit. The part three I didn't expect because there's so much flowing out of the Maseroth message that spans the seven days I talked about that is all leading to an invitation to truly rest right now. Why? Because it's time to turn the corner and in order to not shipwreck upon those shores that we are destined for, we need to hear so succinctly, clearly, specifically, and in a place of intimacy that we can't hear any other voice of guidance instruction but the truth and nothing but the purity of his love to guide us into a place of home there are things that the king elsa boeth the lord of hosts is commissioning and sending out his angelic forces to fight for on our behalf but we are being invited into the palace to remain behind some walls of protection to rest so that we can get resourced so that we can be discerning and not fall prey to what happens when we are exhausted i feel like i'm speaking to myself right now <laughs> oh my word but this truly is so vitally important. I, I spoke to you about the prophetic seagull saying, Land ho, you're so close, you're so close. Now is not the time to push so hard that you push yourself and crash and your ship gets wrecked after all this struggle and time of being on tempest-tossed seas and, and, oh my goodness, shame and blame and dry wilderness and wandering and wandering. He's calling us into His presence so that we can arrive safely, that His harvest that He is protecting as the man of war, that Jesus will ensure that we are delivered our due for those who have clean hands and a pure heart. But now during this time where we are invited to the quiet place with him to refresh because it's needed so that we can be pure, fully emptied out vessels he can fill so we can pour out as the Holy Spirit, not judgment that he doesn't want for us. So what are we going to do about our calling stewarding one another in his love his creation look at what creation is speaking the earth is quaking that is the intimate prose i got today <sighs> because there is a groaning not only for redemption to restore all things as if it were the beginning but that we are also to be restored in his love how by resting in his presence that is the invitation I'm going to read once from 8.15 when the planetary conjunction first began, 8.15. Hear ye, hear he. Awestruck with love, wondrous you, simply can't compute the unceasing magnitude, waves of unrelenting, thundering waters of cleansing renewal, upending the false ethos, spiritually shrill amplitudes of airborne princes raining destruction to us earth. Take cover, run for cover, hunker down, bunker life all I knew. You lifted me, yes, suddenly into a home of purity's heart. God of the impossibility, I see you. I see what you have and what you can do essential essence you are and what i am made to be like you a joy unto you elohim of elohim as you are jesus living in glory by glory for the glory of the one true who is so just he so pained allowed the devils to play until timer ding dong sung times up they were always limited within clocked hands now see what i can do died to deny and alive you are becoming the eternal garden of my presence enter in recognize stand the honorable presides throne room sounds a governance of heaven to his kingdom to unto outpost earth remote control no sovereignty precedes grace four corner alliance welcome five the start of the beginning come child i am come to you essence of me i am here i am ever unchanging never leaving blessing bearing father to you there's so much happening in the heavens, but it is to comfort, to give us hope and the strength to persevere with the joy and the love that comes from above that will fuel us, resurrect us, restore us if we choose to take heed. What are you going to do? I know I have a choice. I need to rest more. <laughs> Let me encourage you to do 
and maybe I'll also I will definitely do my best for that I feel like he's saying I am your hiding place this is the place of grace this is the place you will rest and see all the glory I have destined for thee this is a time for a new beginning not only for you for those around it's a community it's a community he's always been about family right and we as the family of God it is our privilege to get to rest in his house so let us be a place of rest one to another cease all judgment and strife and accusation agreeing with the devils themselves to tear us apart tear us asunder when we are to to rest in unity the cushion of a network that is full of his pure love and not anything less anything of selfishness i am your hiding place won't you believe he came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross our debt to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord we lift your name on high the heavens are prophesying hang on there's hope rest in that truth that hope is an expectation of delivery of all that's been promised will you wait on me rest in the cloak of my care let the pure light restore you within so when you are emergent you will claim that territory you will recover all this is a season of turning if we turn all our hearts minds and sights upon the king of kings we will heal we will be delivered we will be made whole loved and blessed this is what I speak into your life, into your hearts, minds, and bodies, and your soul. Let all be restored better than new, better than ever, because King Jesus is coming for you and me. I'm Jane Justice Park. Thank you again for listening to part three of this untitled <laughs> Maseroth message. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.